the powers that are pulling the strings to this country are literally bringing us to a civil war in what could be, who knows, a matter of weeks. Who knows? A matter of months. It could be a matter of hours. Because if the President of the United States orders the United States Army, I'm not feeling nothing. Look, look. All right. Those of you who just said earthquake, are you, are, were you born? Were you born in some other state? Okay, I see the screen moving. Okay, how many of you were born in California? Raise your hands. Okay, to us, please. This is not an earthquake. When I see a Californian go under their desk or under their t under their chair, now okay, we'll consider it. So everybody's phones are going off. What what is it? Uh, so 4.5 San Bernardino. So t what? 20 miles away. So it was deep. It was not a surface quake. It was deep. How do you know? Because you guys said it was rolling. Boy, are, we're not even gonna get to the Bible tonight, are we? <laughs> Even though the earthquake just now was close, it rolled, which means it was very deep. Uh, if it's shallow near the surface, it, you would have known it. Uh, even though that's not much of a magnitude, only 20 miles away, if it was a surface quake, it would have, it would have punched us. You would have felt a tremendous jolt, even out of four point whatever it was, 4.5. That has nothing to do with what I'm saying, though, right now. <laughs> but... Um, but the powers that be that are pulling the strings, um, which I have no idea who, who they are or, or what it is, but I believe they're provoking a civil war. It's the first time since 1861 where we're looking at soldiers possibly shooting at other soldiers on the same team. States. Um, I'm not going to mention the name, but I got to. I, I, I saw this in the news. I got a hold of somebody in D.C. and I said, "Just tell me. Just give me a paragraph. What is this?" And this individual says, "This is at the heart of our federalist system. This is what our republic is. The states are." a means of accountability of checks and balances against any unconstitutional federal government. The federal government is not the sovereign, but we the people. Yes. Yeah. And so, wow, man, I tell you, this, this, you know, this is wild. I'm telling you as an old guy, this is, a, this is wild. Young people, uh, you may be watching some history unfold that you didn't plan on experiencing, but um, you don't want to pick a fight with Texas. And I'm not, I'm not saying that as a joke. Uh, their patriotism for their country of Texas is, is, is not to be played with. And if you, if you're in the, if you're in the California national guard and you're ordered to go attack Texas, you're not going to do it. And that, and that goes for Nebraska. They're not going to attack Texas. Some, something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. But you, where'd that old saying come from? Don't mess with Texas. So can we pray right now for our nation? It is actually falling apart, on a, 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 and we're watching it happen. Heavenly Father, we pray right now for our nation who we confess, Father, right now. We do confess, Father God, that we deserve whatever we get. As a nation, we have rejected you. We have expelled you. We have cursed your name. We have removed your Ten Commandments from 
the city center of our nation. We, you, we have removed your Bible from our campuses. We have banned prayer in most places. And we have insulted you for so long that it would be just and right for you to leave us alone. I pray, Father God, that what we're witnessing is not evidence that you have already left us. But Lord, we can hear you through the pages of your word. And you are saying to us, you've always said it, and you'll always say it until time is up, that if my people will turn to me, repent of their sins, humble themselves, seek my face, I'll turn and send healing rather than cursings upon the land. I'll send you a blessing. Father God, we ask in Jesus' name that you'd have mercy upon your people. I can't even say this country any longer. I can't even say this state any longer, these states. I'm asking you, Lord, to have mercy upon we, your people. And Lord, I invoke tonight the argument of Abraham who said to you, Lord, Would you destroy this country if there were 20 righteous or 10 righteous? Father, we pray that you'd intervene in the powers that are working behind the scenes in Washington, D.C., whatever they may be, whoever they are. They have stolen this nation from you. And I ask you, Father, if you might be so kind, if you might have mercy, that you would take it back from them. And Lord, that you might send revival to your people. And God, that you would send our nation pastors that will feed your people the truth and the word of God and the gospel. And so, God, we pray for your hand to be upon us. And we do thank you so much for the absolute standard of your word that holds us up. No nation lasts forever. But we thank you, dear God, that your family, your born again family, your heavenly family, your forever family does last forever. And we give you the glory in Jesus name. And all God's people said, amen. Amen. Well, for time's sake, church, you can remain. Well, you'll stand. I'll.